smell of freshly fallen rain greets us as I left the warmth of Renison and enter the crisp, cool air of the East Meets West Garden. The sky is dull and gray, but the sun is trying to peek down through the clouds to illuminate the earth. The dreary day is quickly forgotten once I catch sight of the brilliant greenery in the garden. The ferns and trees have grown wild, creating a jungle that unites the plants of the eastern and western hemispheres. Scattered among the tall trees and rampant shrubberies are small, delicate flowers creating pops of pink, purple, and white to contrast the emerald foliage. Many of them hide among the shrubs, but others bloom bravely on fragile branches. Some blossoms emit beautiful floral fragrances, while two Korean trees have spicy, invigorating scents, a stark contrast to the musky aroma hanging in the air. Our gazes are led towards two maple trees, the Japanese maple tree and the Canadian maple tree. Looks of wonder and astonishment are engaged with one another. How could a variation of our beloved patriotic symbol exist somewhere so different? As I passed through the vibrant garden, a feeling overtook me. This feeling was not one that I have gotten from any ordinary garden. It was one that filled me with a sense of satisfaction, one that made me proud to be a part of a school that will put together a garden with such culture. I approach an intersection where there is a bridge causing a division in the greenery. I look to my left, various small shrubs and plants poking their leaves out from the rich earth as if they were greeting me. Some of the greenest greens pop out against the dark tones of the soil in which they are embedded. Within the greens, flashes of color finding themselves at home, purple, ambers, whites, all intertwined between the various shades of green that conquer all the stretches beyond the bridge. I'm able to see an unfortunate reality of life in a garden as one Japanese tree has failed to grow. A small Japanese specimen wilts, unable to grow due to the lack of shade it has received from its counterpart. For the most part, the plants of flowers in the east and west live and thrive together, even helping each other to grow, a main intention of this garden. As I began walking towards the other side of the bridge, I noticed a light shadow cast upon the garden to see the silver lining of the white cloud above. Underneath, I saw a variety of moss-like plants working together as simple but effective complements to one another bringing out a very aesthetically pleasing picture that I would never relinquish from my memories. My senses were startled by the beauty of the natural harmony that I saw before me. The shadows caressing the stone pathway contrasted with the warm pockets of illumination. Rays of life that came from the sun. As I walk deeper into the greenery, I see the deep shadow of the evergreen tree on the vast sea of shrubbery and ferns. The darkness bringing out the striking colors of life and nature within the pearly white wildflowers and the red spotted holly plant. As I looked closer to the underparts of the evergreen, the deep long ridges on the trunk alongside the spiral plants came together with effortless cohesion all the while presenting a very calming but alluring piece of nature for those nearby. With my feet sinking into the soft wood chips on the path between the tall trees, guiding me to the garden of sanctuary and peace, I walk into the bliss of the Zen garden. As soon as I step foot in this Japanese garden, I am overcome with clarity. The beauty of this garden is in the simplicity of objects within it. As traditional Zen gardens should be, its charm stems from the formation of the gravel which represents an ocean, and rocks which represent waves. This garden is different from the others in that it includes the least possible number of living elements. The stillness of the objects within this garden is the source of the garden's tranquility. The still objects are there to assist the mind in mirroring the stillness during meditation. As you walk around this garden with the stability of the path guiding you to the beautiful and circular ocean of gravel, you forget all your worries as you focus on the peaceful serenity of your surroundings. This garden is everything you need to get in touch with your inner self, giving Zen the meaning it holds today.